If I had reviewed this earlier, the Trania B530 Pro would instantly make it to the top 5 earbuds of 2020. It's that good. Because the price has gone down so much since the release of this, the only thing I can complain is the micro USB port at the side, but for just 30 to 40 bucks and considering everything you get in this package, this basically is one of the best earbuds money can buy. Let's get into it. Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and finally we are back with another review. Today we're taking a look at the Trania B530 or also it's called B530 Pro. I don't know what's the difference but yeah, this is the version that I have. And before we start, I want to address the pricing. This originally retails at $69.99, so naturally at that price, not only you get a really nice build quality, also you get a really nice unboxing experience. But now, using my 40% off code in the description, you can get this in Trina's website for just 40 bucks. And in Amazon, you can even get another 10 bucks off. So we're talking about 30 to 40 bucks price now and I want you to keep that in mind for the video. Quick disclaimer, this unit is sent by Tranya but everything said in this video will be my own unaltered opinion and I am not paid by anyone. So if you want to support me and the channel, consider using the affiliate links down in the description. There's also a general store link where you can support me no matter what stuff you're buying. And also if you need VPN, check out IP Vanish. I'll link it down in the description below. Thank you so much for your support. Now we'll get straight to the most important part, so make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and let's talk about the sound quality. Now, I think it is widely accepted that once you get up to a certain point, the difference in audio quality won't be as striking as like going from a super cheap $1 earbuds to something that's actually decent. And that would be my opinion if this was priced at 70 bucks it sounds appropriate for the price. Of course, it will beat cheaper earbuds like the Halos or QCYs, but again, there's my top pick of the year, the Soundpiece TrueShift 2 that basically blows everything under it out of the water at just 35 bucks. This exact earbuds is what I'm gonna be comparing the Tranya to. So I went straight to my review playlist, compared some songs, and what do I think? Well, in short, it's pretty interesting. Let's talk about the first song, Enter Sandman by Metallica. This rock song tells right away that Tranya puts focus on the mids and highs, and so the vocals, the cymbal crashes, the snare hits, they all felt more attacking when compared to the True Shift 2. And that's actually a good thing for me because I enjoy these kind of sounds and it doesn't fall short on the bass. Again, it's similar to the True Shift 2. It's powerful, it completes the song very nicely. And shortly, if I can describe the True Shift 2, it's got a warmer tone, less attacking sound. So if you don't like sharp cymbal crashes and things like that, this might be the better choice. Overall though, I think both performs very well here with all the separation and soundstage taken into account. Now, let's move on to the next song and this is Walk by Yoroshika. You might notice here that I rarely mentioned the song before and it's a bit different from my usual review songs, but if you have some free time, take a listen to the song. Putting aside my preference to this kind of J-Rock kind of music, I think their song really does a good job bringing most earbuds down to their knees. There are tons of instruments at play, multiple guitars, slap bass, drum fills. All of those playing at the same time could make an earbud sound very crowded very quickly. At least that's especially the case with the half-in-ears I've tested. Now, how do these two perform then? I think the winner is clear. The Tranya has the edge with better separation, tighter bass lines, and clearer vocals, while still retaining the bass punch and the fullness of the song when compared to the True Shift 2. I mean, it's not bad here, it's just a little bit more boomy than what I'd like, and it kind of covers the softer drum rolls, for example, among other, you know, little details in the song. In short, it just doesn't sound as tight as the Tranya, 
and yeah, I just prefer to try it, especially in the song. Next up, we're moving on to a pop song, Speechless by Naomi Scott. And here I noticed something really unexpected. I actually like the True Shift 2 better. It's just something about the looser bass, the rolled off harshness in the mids and highs. It blends everything very, very well, and the music just plays into one coherent music. On the other side, the Tranya shows the violin strings on the far left very, very prominently, the drum cymbals, the vocal harshness. It's a bit too much in this song, and I ended up enjoying the True Shift 2 more here. Now, finally, let's test out some dance music. And I won't take too much time here because they both sound equally enjoyable. Both pump out equally good amount of bass, not quite in a bass heavy category, but very nice for a balanced earbuds. And maybe if I can nitpick, the Tranya has a bit more piercing highs, you know, the t, -t in the vocals and stuff like that it kind of gets unpleasant at higher volumes. But honestly, I think both of these are nice for EDM song. So before we round up the sound quality part, I compared both of these on the Note 20 Ultra with APTX on Tranya and AAC on True Shift 2. And I have to admit, APTX probably take a little part in giving the Tranya the more detailed and tighter sound here, but I tried listening with AAC on Tranya and the sound is not that far off. I can barely notice the difference, honestly speaking. So I still believe that tuning and the driver design matters more than the codec itself. But again, here I am listening to music Apple Music, which is encoded in AAC, I might not take full advantage of APTX here. And you know what's interesting? I compared this Tranya to the Galaxy Buds Plus very, very quickly, and wow, how I like the Tranya better. It's got the same crispy highs on the Buds Plus, but this falls short on the bass, even when I put it on bass boost. I think the Tranya still sounds much, much better. And I really love how this one sounds. It's detailed, it's crisp, it's punchy. I think it's the perfect upgrade to the KZZ1 I like so much. Now let's talk about build quality and fit. This one is built up to the $70 price. The earbuds, the case, the unboxing experience is built to match that. And Tranya really gave it a unique look by going with this glossy top half and soft to touch matte bottom half. Especially this bottom half, it's so soft, I just love to touch it every time. The problem is at the top half, the fact that they covered it with plastic from the box is a sign that they will scratch as soon as you remove that plastic and it is so bad right now. You know, just a couple weeks in, I've been using this, throwing it in my back, and most of the time I'm actually using a halo pouch to carry this around. So with that scratch show on the top half here and paired with the micro USB port at the side, I'll definitely complain if this goes for 70 bucks. But at 40 bucks, mm, I think I can somehow accept these. Because there are a ton of good stuff here. This case is not too big, but it's packed with 800 milliamp hour battery inside. That will last you up to two weeks. Very nice. And also there's a four LED battery indicator in the front here. So you'll always get updated about the battery inside. Also the lid has this little snap when open fully, so it won't close by itself. And this is something small, but a very welcome addition. Now onto the earbuds themselves. We got the same two-tone look that we have in the case here, but I think we have a sturdier build and I haven't seen any scratch in the top half, which is very nice. And the shape is quite nice. It fits very well when worn and the Tranya logo in front gives it a unique look and elegant at the same time. Now about the fit, Tranya gives you three different sizes of ear tips in a box and I find the included one to fit just fine, but there are a couple things to keep in mind here. First, the earbuds fit quite deep into the ear, unlike any I've tested before. So if you prefer a shallower fit, you may want to look at something else. For me, I actually prefer it, so you know you best. The next one, and this is much more important, is this comfort. The earbud gets quite big at the bottom part here and usually after an hour or two talking on a voice call, 
it will start to hurt a little down here. It hurts especially when I'm talking. So if I'm listening to music for, you know, hours, I don't have this kind of problem. But again, everyone have different kind of ear shape. I think if your ears are smaller, this could hurt even faster and it could be a deal breaker. That's so unfortunate to say because this is such a nicely designed earbuds. It's got the great play time up to eight hours, which I will believe since it uses QCC3020 chip inside. You can check out my video about it later if you are curious about the chip. And also it's got perfect controls. And let's talk about that right now. As you can see right up here, it can control everything from play pause all the way to volume controls no fuss no customization needed the touch sensitivity is also really great there's so little missed touches and accidental touches using the earbuds is a breeze and that's due to the earbud shape that makes it super clear where you want to hold when adjusting the earbuds and where you want to tap when you want to control your music so we're done here talking about the controls let's check out the latency test and a call test right now. So let's try and listen to a song, you know, to give you just a very quick first impression of the Transmart Apple and about the song. Don't mind the sound, okay? I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> All right. Wow. This is undeniably bass heavy, or should I say like strong on a bass, but not sure. Look forward to the full review of that. But for now, let's try out the ANC. Okay, so it says ambient. Welcome everyone to the call test. Right now you're listening to my iPhone 10 microphone. I'm about an arm's length away and I'm going to take out the Tranya B530 right now. And this has the Qualcomm QCC3020 chip and it does utilize the CPC 8.0 noise cancel. Okay, by the way, this just said connected, so you should be listening to my voice through the Tranya B530 right now. And what do you think of the sound quality? During my 30 plus True Wireless Earbuds call test comparison, I think this is a very, very good performer. It's just a total surprise to me that this whole package right now, currently you can get at only 30 bucks and it performs very, very well. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the indoor call test. Let's go ahead outside and we'll see how this sounds. All right, so here we are on the Tranya B530. What do you think of the sound quality? I think it is a surprising one. Not only that it uses Qualcomm chip, it also has the CBC 8.0 technology. It really competes with the other more expensive uh, earbuds out there in terms of call quality. And I think it is a really great performer for the price. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the call test. Go back upstairs and we'll finish the video. Okay, so there you go. What do I think about the Tranya B530 Pro here? I think it's an earbuds that's worth considering totally if you're looking for something better than your basic Halos, QCYs, Mifas, Plex Stones, but doesn't cost as much as the Galaxy Buds Plus, for example. It really has the quality to back it up from the moment you unbox it until you use it in your day-to-day. I think you will like this one. But I can't put this on the top of the sound peats yet because it's still only IPX5, it charges over micro USB, it kind of hurts in a while, but it is a very, very close second and I would argue that this sounds better than the sound peats TrueShift 2. And also, if your phone supports aptX, then yeah, probably worth considering. Okay, so what do you think about the Tranya B530? Leave a comment down below. Look forward to my review of the Transmart Onyx Free, Apple Bowl, Ugreen, Hi-Tune, and even finally Galaxy Buds Plus in the future. And I have a ton of stuff to talk about, so I can't wait to share it with you. 
do consider subscribing if you haven't. Okay, so thank you so much for the support once again. Thank you for using the affiliate links down in the description. Even if you don't buy an earbuds, it will still help using the links down in the description below. Thank you so much. And thank you for almost 35,000 of you who subscribe on until this date. Each and every one of you mean a lot to me. Okay, so I'll stop the video right here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Kenneth and I will see you in the next video.